Interstate 495. Yeah, Massachusetts style. All right, we are talking about what used to be the longest three-digit interstate highway in the entire system up until 476 was upgraded to interstate, and that is 495 in Massachusetts. So it's a long road around Boston. Here is a look at the route. As you see, it goes from the cusp of Cape Cod almost to New Hampshire. So it goes quite a long distance around Boston, making a pretty big circle around it as an outer loop. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about highways and the places that they're signed to go to. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really like it, why not subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. We've also got a Patreon going. I've got a couple new levels on the Patreon. You guys can check that out. It's pretty awesome. But right now you do get a free $5 super like for life as long as you stay subscribed if you get the $5 level. You can also request exits the old fashioned way by giving a super thanks or a super like to any comments on any video and I can hook you up with an exit request. Upcoming episodes will be available in the description. All right, let's talk about northbound 495. Here is the beginning of northbound 495. We're coming off of 195, coming from the Rhode Island area, and we've got 495 North Marlboro for some reason. We'll talk about that quite a bit. And 25 East Cape Cod, 25 State Highway, which is interstate standards for a few miles further down. When we're actually on 495, we get a nice end 25, begin 495 sign. So here we go. And we are starting right with an exit request. Edward Rasmussen wanted to see exit 2. So here is State Highway 58 exiting for exit two. Thank you so much for that request. I really appreciate it. And at random interchanges, we're not even getting Marlboro. We're getting Taunton for some reason. No real consistency on the random interchange entrances already. This is a long enough three digit route to actually have proper mileage signs. So we are getting Middleboro, US 44, and Taunton. Here's the first major route we hit, State Highway 24, which is a freeway and it's heading north for Boston. Do you think you could argue having 495 signed for Boston up until this point, but I do understand the rationale here. And on 24 itself, 495 is signed north for Marlboro. At random interchanges now, we are getting 495 north Mansfield and Marlboro. We get another proper mileage sign. This time Worcester is getting on the sign. We don't actually quite get there, but this is the road you would take to go there from this point. It is a very sensibly signed place and a pretty large city. Notice not pictured Marlboro. And we're meeting I-95. I-95 is going to be signed north for Boston. 95 is not going into Boston itself, but it is the route you would take to Boston from here. And it is signed south for Providence, so sensible stuff here. And we've got the Patriots Stadium, new Foxborough Stadium coming up here, and we get the actual annoying corporate logo itself on the road sign, so that seems pretty shameless. And here is our exit for New Foxborough Stadium. We don't even get Foxborough listed here. We get Rentham and North Attleboro for US1. This is where we will get off to go to the stadium. But again, yeah, no Foxborough mentioning at all. Just that one small sign for the stadium before here. And here's a look at New Foxborough Stadium itself. It is out in the middle of nowhere. They do have a train that goes out there on game days at least, so that is useful, but it is pretty randomly far, far away from Boston. We're going to be meeting I-90 shortly, 11 miles, one minute. Wow, even for Massachusetts people, that's pretty fast. And we're meeting I-90. I don't know why. Is there some kind of national law that when we have an interchange for a toll road, it has to be just one of these side overhead ones. It can never be a full overhead sign with a pull through. It always has to be this way every single time it's a toll road. I don't really know why. The control cities 490 and Mass Pike are correct. Boston and Albany. Those are good. We're meeting State Highway 9. It is signed east for Framingham and west for Worcester, so that's good signage. Random interchanges now, we are getting 495 North Lowell, and Lowell is a pretty big city, so I am down with that. That does make sense to me. Here is our exit for Marlboro, finally. This road here, Marlboro and Southboro, so. Woohoo, looks like quite a place. And we meet the great US-20. I will be covering US-20 one day. It'll be a while, but it will happen. And US-20 is signed east for Marlboro and west for Northboro. A lot of boroughs around here. And next we're gonna meet I-290. 290 is signed west for Worcester. It is going to be the way to go there, although you could have gotten off at earlier roads to go there as well. At the end of 290, we see it becomes 285 for Hudson and North 495 for Lowell, so that tracks. And now we're getting Lawrence, Salisbury, and Bolton next. Bolton. And Tell me how I was supposed to live without you. And 
Boss King Inc. wanted to see this exit for Boxboro because he was saying that Boxboro, a city about boxes, is more interesting than Foxboro or Patriots football this year. So I thought that was pretty funny. And I appreciate the request. Thanks so much. That was requested on the Patreon. Right on. Thank you. We are meeting two, and we see these old exit signs. So these used to be ordinal signs, but now we are getting mileage-based exits. So much better. I appreciate Massachusetts doing that. And 2A is coming up as well, Lexington and Concord. Here we cross under Mass Ave itself. And at random interchanges now, we're getting 495 north for Lowell and Lawrence. We're meeting quite an exit here, 89A, B, and C, US3 for Burlington and Nashua, New Hampshire, and also the Lowell connector to get you to downtown Lowell from here. And we are now 495 North Lawrence, which is a good choice. You know me, I'm always in favor of Lawrence. And if we get off of that ramp, we see the split here. We get 89B North 3, Nashua, New Hampshire. This exit was requested by Vishrut Sundarajan, which I'm sure I'm probably saying wrong. And I thank you so much for that. And 89C for the Lowell Connector itself. And the Lowell Connector was also an exit request. This was requested by Corte Manche 437, so I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. He wanted to see it because this is where we'd get off to see minor league baseball games in Lowell up until 2020 or so when the team folded or moved. Next up, we've got Exit 91, and this was requested by Emily on Patreon. She wanted to see Woburn Street here for South Lowell and North Bill Ricca. She is also the one who made the Lyman mashup video. If you guys have seen that, the Lyman cut of me getting increasingly annoyed by Lyman. And you can check that out right over here. Trying to pronounce Bill Ricca brings up another interesting subject. I have a request from a person who refers to themselves as a Route 3 viewer. And this request is a wild one. It's 250 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 30 bucks. I hope that Google converts that. It's been a hot minute since I've been to Hong Kong. This viewer wants to see me try to pronounce some of these Northwestern suburban names. So let's go for it. I think you guys have coached me up. Okay, Westford. I know they might say like Westford, but come on. Westford, Chelmsford, Billerica, Lowell, Tewkesbury, Andover, Lawrence, if they pronounce Lawrence differently than my Lawrence, then nah, Methuen, and Haverhill. So I hope I passed, I hope that worked, and I hope that Google automatically exchanges currency and that I don't have Hong Kong dollars in my account. Thank you so much for the request, I really appreciate it. And at these ends, now we're getting 495 North for Lawrence and Haverhill. Yes, I did have to be told how to say that. That is a super weird way to pronounce that word. We're meeting I-93 for the first time. We're getting South 93 for Boston and North 93 for Salem, New Hampshire. Manchester, something wrong with uh, Manchester and Concord, New Hampshire. We got to go with a smaller out-of-state town? It's not really provincial because it's out-of-state, but why would you not name the normal I-93 control cities? It's super weird. Lawrence has quite a few exits, so we are getting a laundry list of exits for Lawrence itself coming up here. 495 is kind of the main interstate freeway of Lawrence. And there's one particularly one weird exit in the Lawrence area. We've got these collector lanes underneath the main line of the freeway crossing the Merrimack River here. So this is pretty interesting. And this was requested by Mr. Shiny. So thank you so much. Request that on Patreon. And at random interchanges in Lawrence, we're getting 495 for Haverhill and Salisbury. Here is our exit for 125 for Haverhill, south for Haverhill, and we will be signed with a new thing now. And from this point, we can see on this interchange, we are signed North 495 for Salisbury. Quite a beautiful road in parts here. Definitely some nice fall foliage going on on 495 here. We're going to be meeting I-95 soon to end this interstate, and that is going to be a Y interchange, so we can only go north, so we're getting north 95 Portsmouth, New Hampshire, two miles. If you want to go south on 95, you can exit here at 110 for Salisbury and Boston. So this would be the road to go to Salisbury, and we'd be signed Portsmouth from here on out. And now we get a nice mileage sign, Merrimack, Salisbury, and Portsmouth. None of those cities are actually on 495, I believe. And now we are going to dead end into I-95. So here we are crossing I-95, and we will be merging with it soon. Here we go, merging into I-95. And at this point, I also should mention, uh, let me give a shout out to the Derp Hog, who also has made a video about this road. I've not seen it yet because I try not to watch videos about roads I'm covering until I've already done it. But he covered this road and also the 128 or 95. 
road. So you can check that out right over here. And thank you so much for the super thanks. I really appreciate it. All right, let's talk about southbound 495 on I-95, and we get 95 south for Boston and 495 south for Worcester. Okay, maybe we're going better on southbound, having Worcester, the biggest city that 495 is going to come sort of near. That makes sense. And also, if you're coming from northern New England and you want to go to Worcester or points west, then this would be the way to go. In fact, I've taken this route before to go from Maine to Albany. But at the very first exit, we switch to Haverhill. Ah, we're going down quite a bit. I know all these cities are fairly built up. They're all, you know, 40, 50,000 people. So it's not like it's small towns that we're signing here, but there are bigger fish to fry, I feel like. And we're getting Haverhill in seven miles, Lawrence 14, Lowell 28. I am okay with signing Lawrence or Lowell out of here because those are quite a bit bigger. Those are both around 100K or maybe a little more. So if we would have signed Worcester and Lawrence from the beginning, that's fine. But Haverhill, ah, we could probably skip that. Here's an exit for a parking area. I'm pretty sure I got off at this rest stop before and the vending machine at it ripped me off. I paid like three dollars for a coke. No coke came out. Pretty annoyed by it. Tried to call the guy. There was no guy working there. Ugh. Massachusetts vending machines. Never again. Here we're meeting 213, which will take us to North 93, and we're getting that Salem, New Hampshire thing again. Again, why not Concord or Manchester? And at random interchanges, we are getting 495 South Lawrence and North Haverhill and Salisbury. We go pretty close to downtown Lawrence. Eh, it's weird for me to say downtown Lawrence and not mean my Lawrence, but yeah, we go pretty close to downtown Lawrence on 495. So here we are crossing, I believe, the Merrimack River, and we can see downtown pretty well from here. About as urban as this road ever gets. And from this point, now we're getting 495 South Lowell and Marlboro. Can't have Worcester on there. Got to throw Marlboro on there where everybody's going. And we meet I-93 again. South Boston makes sense, but they're going to triple down on this Salem, New Hampshire thing. So, eh, it's pretty annoying. And on 93 itself, we get 495 North Lawrence and South Lowell. So that works for me. That is good. We're getting a mileage sign, so we got Lowell and 10 miles and 18 miles till we meet Highway 2, a pretty big highway, and Worcester 46 miles away. So good to see Worcester on the bottom line there. However, now we're meeting the Lowell Connector and we are getting 495 South Marlboro right there, big on the overhead sign when they could put Worcester. Ah, Massachusetts. Here's what it looks like coming off of the Lowell Connector itself. So we are getting three South for Boston, 495 North for Lawrence and South for Worcester and Nashua, New Hampshire, because you'll be meeting three North there. So we do have Worcester coming this other way. Okay, makes sense. And coming to exits 81CBA, we're getting South US 3, and this is on US 3 itself, and we see Marlboro Lawrence for 495, and 110, you'll be able to exit off of first. Now at random interchanges, we're getting South 495 for Marlboro and Taunton. So you're gonna put two cities on there and have neither of them be Worcester. Why, what are you doing? And now we're meeting 290, and it is signed for Worcester, so no reason to sign us for Worcester after this point, but up until now, definitely should be signed for it. And we're going to be getting Highway 85 for Marlboro coming too. And on 290, as we saw before, we have 495 North Lowell, and we're also getting 495 South for Cape Cod. So Cape Cod now becomes our primary long-distance control city, and it's a good choice at that. And we're meeting US 20 West for Northboro, and this was an exit request from Kevin C. Leonard. Kevin C. Leonard wanted to see this exit, so thank you so much for that request. I really appreciate it. And he says this is both the exit for his hometown and the former home of the AL Rookie of the Year in 1976, Mark the Bird. I don't actually know how to pronounce his last name. I've not heard of him before until this request, but thank you so much. And at these random interchanges, we're getting 495 North Lowell and South Cape Cod. All right, now we're getting Westboro 59B, Southboro 59A. Massachusetts, do you have something against naming your cities? Everything is just a direction in borough or Marlboro or some other borough, Foxboro. Everything's got to have a borough. A borough just means town, I think. Adding, you know, just a bunch of random directional names isn't really naming your city, is it? I I'm sure the people there are fine people. I'm sure they're fine towns, but eh. Boring names. All right, we are meeting I-90 once again with one of these side overhead things, not a full pull through because toll road, it's the law, I guess. And we're signed for Boston and Albany. Coming off of I-90, we get 495 North Portsmouth. So all the way to Portsmouth there and South Taunton. What? 
is going on here? Why are you getting the most long distance possible control city you can have for northbound and like the next town over for southbound instead of Cape Cod? This is just so weird. You'd think it'd be like North Marlboro, South Taunton, or more Portsmouth and South Cape Cod, one or the other. But Massachusetts does this all the time. Like just add symmetry here. They, they just always do it this way. One smaller town and one more distant further town for no reason. And now we're getting 95, is going to be 25 miles away, Cape Cod 69, nice. We're meeting US-1 once again, and we see US-1 is signed for North Attleboro and northbound for Rentham back to the stadium. So once again, we get no mention of Foxborough on any overhead signs. On US-1, we get 495 South Cape Cod and North Marlboro. We're going to be meeting I-95, so we get the same control cities as before, North Boston and South Providence. And on I-95, we're getting 495 South Cape Cod and 495 North Worcester. Okay, all right, that's a little better. I'm down with that. But unfortunately, that was an older Street View sign because I checked it on this sign where we had North Marlboro listed and the older version of it had Worcester listed. So I assume going the other direction, we just have Marlboro and not Worcester at all anymore. So they had Worcester on there and made the choice and decided, oh, nope, Marlboro, that's the place. Everybody's heard of that. Philip Morris advertise with them or something? What's going on? And here we are on 140 approaching 495, so we'll be south 495 and 140, briefly concurrent Norton and Cape Cod. So Norton is there because that's where 140's going, so that is an okay sign. North Marlboro, again, I think I've made my opinion clear there. Ramy Star wanted to see this exit, exit 30 for 140 south Norton, because this is the home exit for that commenter. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. 495 south Cape Cod. We're getting another mileage sign here. We're getting Taunton, Middleborough, so we're getting another borough here, and Cape Cod, 42 miles away, so this is well done. And now we're meeting that 24 Expressway once again, so 24 South Fall River, 24 North Boston. And we've got another exit request from Edward Rasmussen. We've got US 44 for Middleborough and Plymouth. The two exits he requested, this one is if he's going home coming from the north, and he'd exit at exit two if he was heading home from south. Appreciate the request. Thank you so much. And now we're meeting the end of 495 we get to 195 and it is signed west for Wareham and New Bedford and 25 now will be East Cape Cod 25 is the continuation of 495 kind of not sure why they don't just make it 495 and we see we get our notice just like we did go in the other direction end 495 begin State Highway 25 so this is where we would end but if we go a little further down 25 I have a request Ryan 225 360 wanted to see the welcome to Cape Cod sign that we see on 25 as we head toward Cape Cod. So this is the official start of Cape Cod. All right, let's take a look at Todd's the way it should be for I-495. Northbound, I'm going to say it should start with just Boston. Coming off of 195, it's the way to Boston from there. I know it goes nowhere near Boston, but it's the way to Boston. Then from 24, I would sign it Worcester. Lowell, once we get to 290-ish. Lawrence from Lowell. Haverhill is the biggest thing we're going to come across the rest of its routes, and it's still, I think, bigger than Portsmouth, New Hampshire, so may as well sign that. And then Salisbury, it's a popular beach resort, so I don't see any reason not to sign it coming in here. It's probably more touristy than Portsmouth. Probably a lot of people heading there in the summer, so it's fine. After that, I would sign Portsmouth or even better, Portland, Maine, but we know they're not going to do that. Southbound, I would go with Lawrence and Worcester to start, and then I would switch to Lowell and Worcester until we got to the Lowell connector. Then I would sign just Worcester. Finally, from there, I would go with Cape Cod. And you'll notice, not pictured, Marlboro, which is signed for almost everywhere on this road. I wouldn't sign it at all other than for its own exit or as a secondary, but never as a primary. All right, thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Free. I really appreciate it, and we're going to be back with, whoo, US 95 next week, so that's going to be awesome. And until next time, my name is Todd, and keep on trucking.